By the way, I hope this video footage comes out all right and the sound comes all right. I'm using my old phone again because the Pixel 6, not a fan. I'll show you the dry shafts and give you a little bit of an explanation of what I did and what they are because, as you know, there was no sound in the last video. Just some cool music. These are the dry shafts I made. I have welded the K11 micro spline onto some Accord hubs and I chamfered this bit yesterday because it's getting really close to the bottom ball joint and it's possible that I may need to just trim the bottom ball joint a little what bit. What I did was I machined these and there's like a little little dicky sticking out the other end and then when I machined the Accord part I left the hole so it locates in and then I pressed the whole lot together and welded it sleeved puddle welded I'm gonna get filthy and wet trying to fit these but I kind of want it done so I had a couple of questions about this wheel and tire combination they are Advan A048Rs and they are a medium compound they are the race tire size is 170 580 R14 but the road size is 185.60.14. These are actually out of date. I bought them from a local company for £35 a tire. With this tire size, if you go too aggressive on the wheel offset, the tire will rub here. And yeah, they're 14 inch micro wheels from a K11. at the workshop now i wanted to talk a little bit about the budget i just sold an apexi power fc hand commander for 65 pounds and i also sold a header tank and a bailey breather tank for 90 a lightened uh, k11 cg10 flywheel for 30 quid so yeah we're up to you know 185 which is pretty good but i did spend a little bit on a tank so this um, swell pot is out of the tank in the K10 and it's got a Walbro pump in it, 255, which is more than enough for what I need, probably good enough for 300 horsepower, 350 horsepower. And I've got some AN6 fittings, so I need to convert this to AN6. But I also need to weld a gubbins on the bottom to connect to the pipe. died whilst I was machining, you may have noticed. Worked it out. I had my uh, foot pedal working like a button. So there was no, um, you know, it's just going straight in at 130 amps. <laughs> the difference. <laughs> Oh, I nearly snorted then, that's so funny. That's what it looks like when you remember to use 
the right setting on the machine and then that's what it looks like when you forget. Whoa, spicy. A little story, Tom will remember this if he's watching. Once we were uh, working for Liam Duran, Doran, sorry, and we were in a fab shop and he was like, can you hold this piece for me? So I'm holding it and I'm like, is it supposed to tingle? He'd forgotten to put the earth on it. It was just so funny the way it happened. But you've got to be there. You had to be there. That came out a lot better than the first one. Positive wire from the pump on underside, up through, top piece, with a little step on it, and that's threaded with an M6. You need to sit down. This is not a good design. If I'd used a Jubilee. Oh. Yes. Well, that's that. Can't do these connectors until tomorrow. We've got some foam in there. We got the pipe on, which was a fight. We've got the pump in there with a little swell pot. But yeah, an earth point and a insulated positive. We've got A and 6 feed, A and 6 return. Guys, we are super close to getting this running now. Um, maybe it won't happen today, but I think it's going to happen in this video. But got the fuel system pretty much sorted. Actually, I'll show you. Found some pipe work, got some fittings there, and a couple of fittings there. I need 90s really, but those straights will get me going. This is temporary by the way. From the fuel system point of view, that is pretty much done. Two pipes basically, two wires, clean it and put the top in. 